Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of NX Tutorials. Today we'll be working on the same block as we did on the previous video. Except the previous video I showed you how to do on Sketch. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you using primitives by creating a block. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing is I'm going to go ahead and create this block here 120 millimeters by 58 by 38 thick. So let's go ahead and create new file, create new model. You want to make sure the units in millimeters. Go ahead and name it block. Destination. I'm going to go ahead and choose desktop. Click OK. Go ahead and click OK. Alright, so the first thing you want to come up here under block, click block, you want to specify the length, which is 120 millimeters, it's already there. The width, we'll go ahead and do 38, and the height and the z-axis, we'll go ahead and make it 58, click OK. So now we have our first block here. Alright, so the next step is we'll go ahead and create this cutout by extruding a block and then subtracting it from the main block. So I'm going to go ahead and select this right here. You want to extrude. We'll go ahead and extrude this line. Make sure it's highlighted in red. Alright, so the start point it's uh, 22 millimeters up high. So from the start distance, you want to start at 22. And the height, the end, we'll go ahead and leave it as is. And then the cutout is 19 wide. So we want to make sure it's offset, two-sided. You want to go in the other way, so you want to double click on this arrow right here. We said it's uh, 19 millimeters in. Go ahead and type 19. Make sure you're on two sided. And press OK. So now we have that block. Next, you want to subtract that block from the original block. So you want to come up here, subtract. You always want to select your body, which is your first block that you've created. And then you want to subtract the new block. Alright, so now we have that cut out. Alright, go ahead and press OK. We got this cut out right here. Now we do have another cut out on the on the back end. So we'll go ahead and create that by same process, extrude, and then subtract. So let's see here, we got this 22 by 40. 21 by 40, I mean. Alright, so go ahead and uh, same thing, same process, sub, uh, extrude first. You want to select this corner, this line right here. Alright, now the start point, the distance, we'll leave it at zero. Go ahead and leave it. The end point, that's okay. And then you want to offset it, same thing, two sided, going the other way. Alright, so we want it 40 actually. right there. You want to press OK. Now we want to offset this side of the block. 
so we can we can achieve that 21 millimeters cutout. So in order to do that, you want to click menu, insert, offset scale, and then you want to offset face right here. Go ahead and highlight this face. You want it to go the other way. Double click on the arrow. All right, so it's 38 minus 21. That should give us final cutout. Click OK, and there it is. Now we want to subtract. Come up here, subtract. Same thing, you always want to select the main body. And the second, the new block. So now we have that cutout. All right. Let's see next. We'll go ahead and work on the. We can use the chamfers here. Do a chamfer here and another chamfer here. All right. So this one is a 30 degree chamfer. Coming up, 13 millimeters. All right. So you want to come up here to select the chamfer tool. Highlight, make sure it's highlighted in red, this line here. All right, and the angle, we want it 30. And the distance coming off, it's actually 22 minus 13. That should be it. And we'll go ahead and select this edge too to make it same as this chamfer. Click OK. So now we achieve that chamfer here on both edges. All right, next we'll go ahead and create this chamfer here. It's at 32. Coming off this edge, 59. All right, same thing, chamfer. Highlight this edge. We want it at 32 and the distance we'll go ahead and reverse you see this arrow right here we want to reverse it going this way so you want to click here reverse direction and it's actually 120 minus 59 press OK there it is All right, so now what we got, let's see. I'm gonna click the picture here. All right, so now we got this chamfer here. Next, we'll go ahead and create this hole, which is 59 and it's uh, by 32. All right, so I'm gonna come up here and use the hole feature, click hole. You want to select this face. We'll go ahead and dimension this uh, point. So we said it's 59 from this edge. So select the first object it's telling you. So you want to select and highlight the first point. And you want this edge. We want it by 59, press enter. Next, we want it 32 from the bottom. So you want to highlight it again and highlight the bottom line. Go ahead and put 32, press enter. That should be it right here. So close out. Your sketch is fully constrained. You want to finish. All right, it's loading up. All right, so under here, you got the whole diameter, which is 28. And then we want it to through body. So we'll leave that through body. So it's going all the way through. 
then it's automatically gonna subtract the boolean and go ahead and press OK. Alright, next we got another hole right here, so the same thing, we're gonna go ahead and click hole feature. You wanna select this face, let me move it around. Select this face. Go ahead and dimension it. Make sure you highlight the point. And this one is actually coming out 45 millimeters from the from this center of this hole. So you want to highlight this center. We want it to be 45. Press enter. It's 12 millimeters from the bottom. So select your first object. That's your center point to the bottom. This one's going to be 12. Press enter. Close out. Your sketch is fully constrained. Go ahead and finish. All right. Now the diameter. This one is uh, colon out to be 12 millimeters in diameter. And the same thing going through. So we'll leave it at through body. Subtract. Okay. All right. Next thing, we'll go ahead and create this slot here. Previously, I, on the sketch, I showed you how to create a line and then extrude it and then subtract it. This time, I'm going to go ahead and extrude a block and then subtract it as a slot. So it's actually coming off 30 millimeters from the bottom and ending at 34. So come up here, extrude. Select, make sure you want to select the bottom here, the line. Select this line. Alright, so it should come up 30 millimeters. So the start point, you want it to be 30. And then end 34. So that way we have 4 millimeter thickness of the slot that's going out. You want to offset it two-sided. Let's go ahead and take it to the other side. All right, and make sure it's going all the way through the hole. So that should be it, 30 by 34. Go ahead and press OK. Next, we want to subtract this block that we just created. Same thing, you go to subtract right here. You always select the main body, then the second, that would be the new body that you've created. Click OK, and that should be it. There's your slot. Alright, now if you want to double check, we can go ahead and measure that. So let's see here. So this face right here, this line to the bottom, that should be 30 millimeters. So we'll go ahead and click the measure tool. Your object, you want to select this object. And your second object, that would be here. And there it is, 30 millimeters. And then we'll go ahead and measure the top, that should be 34. So we'll go ahead and delete the first object. And select that object here. That's 34, so that's right on right on the money. Alright, so we got the slot ready, we got the holes in, we got the chamfers, what's next? Now, we got a, a blind hole with the flat bottom right here. This one here, flat bottom, and it's going 15 millimeters down. Alright, so we'll go ahead and create a hole right here. Create a hole. You want this face. Alright, so we want a rapid dimension right here. Select your first object, which is the center point. And this one is actually coming off 42 from the edge. 
So that's this edge, any edge. We want it to be 42. All right, and it's, uh, let's see here, 19 millimeters from the bottom. So select this to the bottom. You want it to be 19 millimeters going up. All right, so close out. It's fully constrained. Go ahead and finish. And this one's actually 10 millimeters in diameter. And then we don't want it through body. It says uh, it's going 15 millimeters deep. So you want to select value. And you want it to be 15, that's right. And the tip angle, that's your drill tip. So you want it to be zero, so to achieve that flat bottom. So right here we got the flat bottom. And press OK. And there it is. We got this hole. All right. So we got everything else except for this hole right here on this view that's a five millimeters coming up 26 halfway five millimeters all right so same thing same process you want to come up hole create the hole you want to select this face all right give it dimensions we'll give it select select this that should be five millimeters as shown. Press five, enter. And then it's coming up 26 millimeters from the bottom. So select your point, select the bottom. And that's actually 26. Press enter. Close out. We're fully constrained. Go ahead and finish. This one is actually uh, going through the block. So you want to hold diameter five millimeters as it's calling out. And then the value, the depth limit, you want to change it to through body. And press OK. Now we have the block. Let's see here. Style. I want to do a wireframe with hidden edges. There's our part. We got the through body hole, the flat bottom blind hole. Go ahead and change that style. Shade it with edges. And like always, I like to change the color of it, so Control J. Select the body, click OK, change the color, I like this color here, click OK, alright, so now we got everything else. Just to show you the, the the layer settings here, we can do the same thing. You want to move to layer, select the object, invert. So that's going to select everything else except for this object. That's only one, which is the datum coordinate system. Go ahead and press OK. We'll go ahead and put that in layer 5. Different layer as the working block. Go ahead and click OK. And you want to come up here, layer settings. You want to uncheck number five so we can have a clear view of just the block. Click OK. And there it is, our block. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Till next time.